If you are looking for a way to accept donations on your WooCommerce store, then this tutorial may be helpful. With this, you can do fundraising on your WooCommerce store such that your clients can make donations during checkout. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to accept donations on WooCommerce. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is my online store from where I want to accept donations. And to achieve this, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins are set for Woo donations. And this is the plugin I'm going to install Woo donations by Geek Code Lab. You see that this plugin will provide you with options to accept donations in WooCommerce with amount specified by the end user. So with this, your customers will be able to donate any amount they wish. So I click on install now. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Now that the plugin is installed and activated, let's go ahead and set it up. So you can go over to settings under the plugin or you go over to WooCommerce, click on donation. Either way, they will all take you to the same place. In here under general settings, the first feature we have is select donation product. By default, the plugin will create a donation product for you. However, if you don't want to use the default product that is being created for you, you can drop down the arrow here and choose any product from your shop. But I will not advise you to do that because if you pick any of this product as your donation product, this means that your customers will not be able to buy that particular product. So let's leave the default donation product like this. Next is add on cart page. Do you want to enable the donation feature on the cart page? If the answer is yes, then you go ahead and enable this. You can also add it on the checkout page. If you want to allow your users to add some notes when they are making donations, you can go ahead and enable this. I will leave it unenabled for now. You can change the color of the button right here. At the moment, it is blue. Let's leave the default. But just in case you want to change it, you can just click on it here and choose the particular color you want. Next, what text do you want to see on the donation button? The default is add donation. You can customize it just the way you want. And the button text color, you can go ahead and set it. At the moment, it is set to white. I leave it as it is. Then I go ahead and save the changes. The settings is saved. Next, let's go over to label. The donation form title is donation. You can go ahead and change it as you wish. The placeholder as well as the notes placeholder. So all these fields are customizable. These are what your users will see when they try to use the donation feature. I leave everything as they are. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. So now that we are done with the settings, let's go to the front end of our website. So I hover on the name of my website here, then I will visit the store. Now if I choose any of these products, then I go ahead and add it to the cart. I go ahead and view the cart. Going down, in here you see that I have donation. So this is the donation form title, and the placeholder, example 100, and finally the add donation button. So if I go back to the settings and change the donation form title to support us, then I go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I come back in here and refresh, you see the new name support us. Awesome. You may also want to change the background color of the donation button to match with the colors of your website. I would recommend you choose a color that will stand out from the rest of the colors of your website. So if I go back to the settings and I go to general setting, I'll go ahead and change the button color to maybe gold. The button text, I want to change it to donate now. 
and I'll leave the button text color as it is. Finally, I want to enable notes. Then I'll go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I go to the front end and refresh, we see that we now have the node field and the color of the donate button has changed as well as the text. Awesome. So assuming I don't intend to make any donation and I proceed to checkout. On the checkout page, I still have the opportunity to go ahead and add my donation. Going down, you see that the total of the product is 204.90 cents. Now if I go up and add in some donation, maybe 50 dollars i can add some notes then i go ahead and click on donate now the donation is added going down you see it right here perfect take note this image is a default image from the donation plugin so you see the amount of the product you are buying and then the donation amount which amounts to 254.90 cents. So with this, I can go ahead and place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. Going down, you see the product right here and then the donation product. So if I go to the back end of my website as an administrator and go to my WooCommerce orders, you see the new order right here. And at the end, you see that under donation, it is ticked, which means that there's a donation amount coming in. So I'll go ahead and click on it. Going down, this is the product the customer is buying with its amount. And then this is the donation product with the donation amount. Awesome. Take note, I'm using cash on delivery as my payment gateway. So as a shop owner, I'll receive my payment, including the donations upon delivery of the product. So if you are using an automated payment gateway, everything will be paid to you before you deliver the product. So with this, you can raise funds and support the course for which you are accepting donations on your website. So that's it on how to accept donations on WooCommerce. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.